Hi, it's Ann Perry. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is going to be a really fun video. One of the most popular questions that I am asked every single day is, why am I seeing these crazy repeating numbers over and over again? What do they mean? I'm going to help you to learn exactly how that is, what it's all about, why you're seeing those numbers, and how do you interpret them. So hang tight. We're going to learn more today. Okay. Numerology observes the philosophy that all numbers hold vibrations, and they, each one of those vibrations produces a predictable characteristic. Uh, so when we look at the number four, for example, we know that the four energy is all about being down to earth, practical, grounded, planner, step-by-step -step process kind of thing. When we look at the number one, we know the number one is all about self-starter, independent, ingenious, uh, inventor, that sort of thing. The three, that's the communicator, that's someone who's very social, maybe not too, too focused. All right, so each number has a characteristic. So learning numerology is actually learning how to speak a new language. It's learning how to speak numbers. Now, I don't always speak English very well, but I do speak numbers, okay? And I'm encouraging you to learn how to do the same because it's really like decoding these messages that are coming to you. There is a code and you can crack that code. Each number holds a vibration that is something that can be interpreted very easily. All right, so let's look at the example of the number one. So when we think of the number one, we think of the words leader. We think of driven, successful, winners, somebody who's a, a self-starter, likes new beginnings, very independent. This is the vibration that the number one actually gives off and that we recognize this is part of the interpretation process. So before you can understand what the repeating numbers are trying to tell you, you need to learn how to interpret the numbers from one to nine. You learn to speak numbers. All right, so let's just take a look at the first three numbers, one, two, and three, because I'm kind of a simple kind of gal, right? So I like to keep things simple. So number one, the one is all about encouraging you. If you get this, if this is part of your message, the one is all about encouraging you to plant some new seeds in your life, believe in your ability, be confident, create something new, be really, really confident in your efforts. If we see the number two in your message, this is saying to you, pay attention. Your intuition is at an all time high right now. You need to be patient because things are just going to develop in the perfect timing for you, even though they're going to feel like they're developing slower than what you'd like. New relationships are on the horizon. Pay attention to the special relationships in your life because romance is just around the corner. The three energy, this is all about expressing yourself. They're saying, get out there, write that book, you know, that you've always wanted to create that blog, paint, draw, redecorate your home. Pay attention to opportunities that invite social activities because the three is all about being very social. Okay. Now, if we saw the number four example, one, three, and two, Okay, so let's say you're seeing 132 all the time. You're seeing it on the clock, you're seeing it in license plates, you're seeing it in wherever. Um, the number one says, start something new. Okay, get out there and start something new. The number three says, express yourself. Put yourself in social situations where you can start sharing that new idea that has just come to you through the inspiration of the preceding number of the one. Number two, pay attention to your intuition. Whatever your gut is telling you to start, you need to start it right? Your gut will never lead you wrong. Be patient in your pursuit of this new idea. Now, there's another way to interpret 132 because you know that there's a positive side to the numbers and there's a negative side to the numbers. So not always are we going to be getting messages that are all warm and fuzzy, right? Sometimes they're there just to kick your ass because maybe you're just not acting to the best of your ability. So the one can be stop being so self-centered, right? Which is the opposite to being a good leader, somebody who is trying to create something new for themselves and for other people, okay? The three, get focused already. Stop wallowing in self-doubt. Get out of your pity party, right? Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Quit looking for other people for validation. This is the opposite of being focused and self-confident, which is the positive side of the three energy. The two, stop being overly sensitive. Boo-hoo, everybody has bad days. Get over it. Stop being codependent which is the opposite of being um, balanced and secure in yourself, okay? So at the end of the day, it's your message to be interpreted in the way in which feels best for you. Now I get people sending me messages through Facebook, through YouTube, and through my email and whatnot every single day saying, what does this number mean? I keep seeing it. I can't tell you. I really don't know. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know what's going on in your head. I don't know what personal feelings you've got going on. I don't know what you're wrestling with, okay? I'm good, but I'm not that good, okay? And it's not because I don't want you contacting me because that's definitely not what I'm trying to imply here. I just want to give you a tool, as I always want to do. I just want to teach you how to interpret these codes.
because it's personal to you. It's not personal to me. This is not something that we can put a blanket clause around and say, well, definitively, that's what that means. It's not, okay? You have to interpret it for yourself. How do you do that? You still your mind, all right? You still your mind and you try to get into meditation. I know meditation's not easy for a whole lot of us. I'm a seven. Are you kidding? This is like, this, this is, <laughs> there's a lot going on up here all the time. Meditation is not easy for me. But you know what? At the very least, if you don't understand what it means, put out the message. Send out the light that says, hey guys, I don't get it, right? You're sending me a message. You keep sending me this, this code, right? I don't get it. Put it in simpler terms for me. I'm a simple kind of gal. I keep repeating that. I am. I'm a simple kind of gal. I teach in a simple way to make it easy for you guys to learn. I expect the same. I want the messages to come easily. Put it in a, in a, in a billboard if you have to on the highway, if that's what it takes. And Perry, this is what this number means. I'm good with that, right? Um, but seriously, really, you know, if you don't get it, talk to your guides. You don't have to know who they are. You don't have to know what their names are. You don't have to have a connection to them. You don't have to even, even felt them or seen them, but they're there. I promise you they're there. And if you don't understand, you just need to acknowledge, I get it. You're trying to get my attention. You're trying to get my attention, trying to teach me something, but I don't understand what it is. Can you send it to me in another message? Send it to me in pictures, send it to me in whatever, you know, in alphabet soup. I don't know, but send it to me in a way that I can understand. That is something that you can do if you're not really good at meditation. But at the end of the day, that is your message to be interpreted in your way to the best of your abilities and your understanding. So it's not something I'm going to be able to interpret for you um, as easily as you might think. Okay, that is it. So beyond that, I want you guys to have a really good resource to go to. So I have created one uh, on my website. It's annperrynumerologist.com. I want you to go to the website. I want you to click on the link up at the top. Click on the link that says resources, and that'll take you to a play page that says uh, repeating numbers, okay? So when you click that on, a nice big PDF document is going to open up, and there'll be all kinds of information there explaining each one of the numbers, because I just couldn't do it in a short video. Uh, so it'll explain all of the numbers to you, and you'll have that as a really good resource for you. There's also a newsletter there. I would love it if you would sign up for my newsletter. I don't send out newsletters very often. Honest to God, I'm not that good. Um, but I do send them out occasionally if something really cool is happening. Like I am going to be teaching classes and I want to tell you when they're, when they're coming up. Um, follow me on Facebook. I've got all kinds of neat stuff there every single day. I use this cool little tool that allows me to post every single day. So you'll learn something new and become a really good numerology keener. And I really hope that you'll subscribe to my channel because you know what? I love meeting new people. I love interacting with you guys. I love it when you send me messages. I, I do respond to every single one of them as best I can. Uh, if I've missed you, send me another message. Um, that's not my intention. So I, I really want to stay in contact. And um, there's a sale on numerology readings too. That's what I do. I'm a professional numerologist. If you want to check out the website, it's all listed there for you. Thanks, guys. I love it when you spend time with me. And um, send me a message. And I'd like to know that you're watching. Um, have a great day. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye.